in that we are receding into the secular servite order that some candidates here that are with us tonight. They will be beginning their spiritual year the same see the rosary and so on and the, the book of the rule uh, which they follow. <coughs> I'm going to invite those candidates to come up now. Sisters, and may he permit us to accompany you on your journey 
of studying and experiencing the light of the secular order of servants of Mary. Amen. <clears throat> of our seven holy fathers, 
May they be gentle, humble, and merciful, and form with us one heart and one mind. Like St. Juliana, may they offer to you the pleasing sacrifice of a life lived according to the gospel. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brother, sit down. Right now, my brother 
uh, Tom is attending tonight a class reunion in uh, Nevada. I believe Tahoe, they decided to have their class reunion in Lake Tahoe. And they are there gathered together remembering. It's wonderful to remember, isn't it? The old times together. That's part of our roots. St. Philip High School in Chicago, named after one of the great Servite saints, St. Philip Benizi, has a alumni gathering every spring. And every year, the numbers are greater. They have to get another place. They can't pack them into this place. They're remembering every year how this or that servite spanked them on the back or whatever, you know. <laughs> All the old, the old days in high school. And that's, this is what we do with our sorrow, the sorrows of our Blessed Lady and the passion of our Lord. We remember and in remembering, we make their lives present in our lives. This is what Jesus did. Tonight, I'm going to remember a very frequent action in Christ's life. In fact, he said he came to do just what we're doing tonight. I was sent, he quoted the prophet of old. He was remembering when he said that. I've been sent to give sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf, to make the lame walk. And that's what he did everywhere. So we'll be doing that tonight. We remember. And these servants of Mary have now stood up here and asked if they could be part of this remembering. And so be other Marys. And then right on the track, right on the being there, because Mary always points to Jesus. As St. Bernard said in the Middle Ages, now I'm remembering, <laughs> through Jesus, through Mary. And so we're very happy to be part of Mary's servants. Servants of Mary. Our Lord said, do you want to be the greatest? Then be the servant of all. And that was what Mary was. That's what she continues to be. Our Lord is still using Mary, isn't he? He's sending her all over the world. She's appearing everywhere. Even in big, bad Chicago, where I live, naturally in Ireland, holy Ireland, and, <laughs> and Poland, holy Poland, and so on, Sinsakova, and then the Lourdes, France, and Fatima, but even in places 
for of course she's the message she brings the basic message of the gospel is especially unknown and needed even in Japan and I heard that she's appearing even in China and, uh, and of course Czechoslovakia Medjugorje and I'm sorry in, Yugoslavia. So I believe she's also appeared in Czechoslovakia. She's appearing behind the Iron Curtain in a number of places. In the Ukraine, in Lithuania, in Armenia, all over. So God is still using his mother who said when he first approached her through Gabriel I am the handmaid the servant of the Lord be it done as you say be it done to me as you have said we remind ourselves we remember that every time we say the angels don't we? So let us, uh, you know, it might be a nice way of ending this, these remarks by singing the angels together. Like to do that. We used to have the bells ringing at 6, 12, and 6. And then you always remember that famous painting of the peasant out on the field. Takes his hand off and pauses when he hears the church bells ringing the angelus, the angel of the Lord. Would you like to do that? Um, we usually stand for this. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth your beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be for all God and Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. May our Lady bless us with her loving child, Jesus. Amen. I think our deacon has a little announcement to make here. I'm going to join now in, uh, with the Copan for benediction, and then uh, we will expose the blessings of the sacrament and, uh, and then uh, we begin uh, the uh
healing, uh, laying on of hands, uh, in the presence of the Blessed Eucharist. Uh, and then at the very end, after everybody has been blessed individually, uh, we will uh, have the benediction and close with the blessing of the, with the Holy Eucharist. incense before you. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone fled to thy protection, implore thy help, or sought thy intercession, plus a heavenly name. Inspired by this confidence, I cry to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer. going to uh, carry out the healing service in the presence of the our blessed Lord and exposed here in the Holy Eucharist. St. Thomas Aquinas assures us that the Eucharist is the greatest healing and in fact we remind ourselves of that at communion, don't we? <coughs> Lord, I am not worthy, thou shouldst 
come under my roof only say the word and I shall be healed. It also reminds us that we can pray for somebody who is not here. We can be blessed for somebody not here because that same centurion reminded Jesus when he asked him to heal his servant <clears throat> that uh, he didn't have to come to his house. In fact, he said, Oh Lord, I am not worthy. You should come under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. Just uh, the month before last, I was in Belfast, and the lady asked for a, to stand in to, for a family in London. The father, especially, was for the father family. He is a Jew. He is Jewish. In fact, I have a one-liner just to cheer you up about that. Roses are red, violets are bluish. If it weren't for Christmas, we might all be Jewish. <laughs> Bernard Ellis, is a, he heads up a big international stainless steel corporation. He was at that moment, we were in Belfast, Northern Ireland. He was at that moment in the Philippines. He had a deep depression. It was paralyzing him for some time, his work. As we prayed together in Belfast with this very devout lady who incidentally also was a secular uh, religious, had the three vows. Bernard Ellis in the Philippines, believe this if you can, was delivered of his deep depression. Praise the Lord. So we can also stand in for those of us who cannot be here tonight. We wish. Also, I would just like to ask how many here tonight have never been to a healing service. Well, you veterans be patient if I say a word about what happens sometimes. Some of us will be coming up here tonight some of us as, as we come up here will be overpowered by the Spirit. And uh, we uh, rest in the Spirit. It's a beautiful experience. So it's very desirable uh, to experience. I have nothing to do with it. It's just the Spirit. In, in one day, in Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Scottsdale, in the presence of the pastor, <laughs> I we, was going down the line just invoking Holy Spirit upon 
the people and some of them just rest in the spirit I mean without my even touching them so you can see it's not my work it's the work of the Holy Spirit that's what happened when our lady said yes to God through the angel Gabriel said don't worry the Holy Spirit will come upon you as a little different kind of coming upon her of course as Jesus began to be formed in her then this is another kind or way of the Holy Spirit but the Holy Spirit will come upon us if we are open. So let us be entirely open to His workings tonight so that we can be healed. He cannot come into us if we block our heart. And so we usually begin by asking God to remove all obstacles to His work in us with a short prayer. It's called a miracle prayer. And uh, if we pray this prayer from our hearts, something wonderful is already beginning to take place in us. I'd like just to remember, tell you also that when our Lord blessed people, He used oil. Oil has always been a part of healing, very symbolic. You remember when He told about the man who fell among robbers, the Samaritan came along helped him pour in wine and oil. Oil has always been very healing. So we imitate our Lord and follow Him by anointing Him. And tonight we are very privileged to be anointing you with a very special oil. Just a couple, two weeks ago, last Sunday, I was in Chicago visiting the Albanian Orthodox Church where I lived. lady has been weeping in fact, Our Lady is crying everywhere she appears. That ought to tell us something. And this is why the way of Our Lady we made tonight and the Rosary of the Seven of Sorrows, which Jesus and she is encouraging us to pray constantly, which I do. I have the large economy size one here at my side. <laughs> and we just gave a small one to the candidates tonight, but uh, they're also, and of course, uh, welcome to use a large one. It's kind of inconvenient, of course, uh, but uh, a small one will do. But anyway, this is the large economy size one. And the seven sorrows. Uh, but anyway, our ladies weeping everywhere, that must be telling us something that we should remember, right? <laughs> and uh, but this icon, this is weeping in this little uh, church in Chicago for some time now. Since it is a painting, an icon is a painting. Uh, and 
this case, a painting of Our Lady and the child. And uh, so the tears, she is weeping, come out as oily tears. And I have some of this, just a few drops of that oil, those tears, and I will be anointing you with that. Isn't that wonderful? So feel uh, very privileged tonight to be anointed with the very tears of Our Lady there in, uh, in Chicago. So I'm going to ask you now to stand and to pray with me. I'm going to ask you to pray this miracle prayer in a little louder voice than usual to give ourselves conviction. If we feel that we can want to give ourselves to the Lord entirely now, we may pray this prayer with you. We turn to our Lord on the cross up there because the first part of the prayer is addressed to him directly. And then the last part to our blessed lady. <coughs> Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I just barely hear you. Lord Jesus. A little louder. Lord Jesus. I come before you. I come before you. Just as I am. Just as I am. I am sorry for my sins. I am sorry for my sins. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. In your name. In your name. I forgive all others. I forgive all others. For what they have done against me. For what they have done against me. I invite you into my life, Lord Jesus. I invite you into my life, Lord Jesus. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. My God. My God. And my Savior. And my Savior. Please heal me. Please heal me. Change me. Change me. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. In body, soul, and spirit. In body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Cover me with your precious blood. Cover me with your precious blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I shall follow you. I shall follow you every day of my life. Every day of my life. Mary, my dear mother. Mary, my dear mother. Mother of sorrows. Mother of sorrows. Queen of peace. Queen of peace. All you holy angels and saints. All you holy angels and saints. Especially Saint Clelia, the latest saint. Especially Saint Clelia, the latest saint. Please come to my aid. Please come to my aid. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Now we ask the choir to lead us in some hymn to the Holy Spirit that it comes down upon us. In the meantime, I'm going to ask the ushers to uh, come up and to guide you to fill the front just one row at a time. So please stay in your, in your places and as, a, as, as, there is space, as there is space for you to uh, come up, we just uh, uh, you take a
with us here, Lord, as he receives us here. Lord Jesus, thank you Jesus.
Burns quote, and if they may come up to our institution, we give you one.
Arvairi, sem pelo Pinizi, sem pelo Pinizi, one of you, saints in this crucifix of which we blessed you tonight. He was a doctor, he's, he's wonderful with children. So, just say that prayer over and over, Our Lady and St. Philip and Asi, pray for us. And we'll see what happens. I had to leave, I had a TV for parents in uh, Dublin. And uh, I had to leave to come back to Chicago. And it was only, oh, maybe, six weeks or more later that I heard when I was in, on the radio on the radio in New Orleans a talk show for Our Lady a priest called in he was from Belfast and his aunt had telephoned him in New Orleans to tell him about some rookie priest that had been over there and uh, had healing services and uh, it's all about this one boy child and she described what happened I think it was no less than 48 hours later this little mother was praying that prayer evidently and the little blob was on the lap of its grandmother he was a little boy, came to life, slipped down, walked the first time, walked over to his mother and said his first word. And what do you think that was? You guessed it. Say Mama. <laughs> okay, Mama. Praise the Lord. <laughs> You know, uh, so if you don't feel you've been healed, if you don't feel the heal tonight, be patient. This is the history of my life. The Lord keeps me humble and very often, if not most often, doesn't let me see the healing. It comes after. It's a delayed action bomb. Mm -hmm. Like another lady got up in a packed church, packed community there, and witnessed how her mother and dad had brought her to our place in Ireland. I went over there, you know, way back before many of you were born in 1948 to help found the service in Ireland. So she told me about her parents bringing her. She was just a young girl then to uh, the Spinberg County Tyrone. Our place is about 45 miles from Belfast. And they came down in a taxi. And uh, <coughs> And I blessed her with St. Philip and Easy, as I did in those early days. St. Peregrine, Cancer Saints, these are all Sulites, I'm glad to say. Um, but, uh, of course, they're saints. But uh, anyway, uh, she was born blind. And I said, you're not witnessing anything now. Just pray this short prayer. Our Lady, St. Philip and Easy, pray for us. Halfway back and away from our place to Belfast, this little girl, she described all this. I never remember any of this, of course, this is so many years ago all those thousands of people coming to the west. I couldn't possibly remember. And, uh, 
halfway between our place and Belfast, she was fooling with the blinds in the Venetian blind, I guess it was, in the taxi. All of a sudden, she saw the first time. I stand before you with perfect vision, she said. Praise God. <laughs> I'm hearing this only how many years ago was that? It must have been in the early 50s. I'm only hearing it now in, in 1989. So that was quite a, a reunion. She had never seen me, obviously. She was blind when this happened. And I had never seen, well, never seen her since. So it was a, a very uh, beautiful moment for both of us, first time after all these years. So, well, I've witnessed already so many, so anybody else want to, I don't want to be a one-man show here. No, nobody has received any special grace from the Lord, I guess. How come everything happens to everybody else but not to me? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all witnessed some miracle in your life. Maybe tonight already. Here's a brave lady. Please come up and use the mic because it's hard to hear. I, I'll talk loud. <laughs> oh, okay. I, uh, when Father Rookie was here, I had a constant uh, pain in my left leg, my sciatic and uh, after the healing, it went away and it's never returned. Praise the Lord. No other comers. I was blind, now I see. It's that choir started singing that song and cracked me up here. Amazing grace. I would like to say that I have a peace in my heart today that I didn't have a week ago before Father Rookie came. I'm very grateful for this. Don't blame me, blame the Lord. He's the healer. He's the healer. No other comers. Oh, here comes Leo. Leo the Lionhearted. Let's speak up to get the. Several years ago, I had a problem when I'd be driving down the road, everything would just quit. The thoughts and everything. And I went to Father Schwartz and got the sacrament of six, of the sick, and then I overcome that. church, a packed church. There's, in fact, this was more than one church. It's a number of churches. They had all wheelchairs up in front. Big churches. And one after the other, and the wheelchairs getting up, pushing the chairs out of, the wheelchairs out of the church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The Lord. chance to have his or her say and then we will give the Lord the last say and we bless you with the Holy Eucharist. Thank you for your cooperation. I want to, before I finish, uh, I'd like to just say a word of thanks to Father George for inviting me again to uh, be with you and to all of you for letting me come to you. It's always a great joy to come out here. I'd like to, without insulting anybody else, to uh, 
just give a special word of thanks though to this young lady right here, uh, Lorraine, because you know, behind every good man there's a good woman. And sometimes an astonished mother in law besides. <laughs> so uh, she uh, well and now all of the uh, servants of Mary here and, and uh, will be uh, helping to keep our lady and her the memory of her sorrows before us with their lives and their prayers. I just uh, I'm going to uh, suggest to them we have to make, uh, speak to them for a moment uh, if you can to begin to enrich your lives with the uh, daily praying of the divine office and uh, or if you want to just begin your uh, modest move with the little office of our lady and, uh, and offer that for an increase of God's people and of our own people. Uh, and of course, then we, Our Lady and Magic Glory is asking us to pray the 15 mysteries every day. And the servants who will be praying uh, the Seven Sours Rosary. Uh, also, what she is also asking us to do, especially in her appearances in Africa, in Kibeho, Rwanda, Africa. I'm going to leave some tapes with you and uh, we could manufacture that. Uh, where's our tape man here? Uh, and and uh, some little simple tapes to help us also in our, in our meetings, in our, in our praying. Uh, some of our radio uh, interviews here and there. And, uh, healing service, uh, short things, and so on. So we be communicating at least in that way. Uh, we've been going in Chicago, all over in Yugoslavia or somewhere. Sin City, Las Vegas. <coughs> well, I uh, invite anybody who is interested, there's still time uh, to go with us to Medjugorje next month. Uh, on the 17th of October we're scheduled, or as they say in England, in Ireland, scheduled, or scheduled, is that right? Scheduled to leave on the 17th of October. And you, of course, you can leave from anywhere. We'll be meeting in New York and uh, go over from there. So, uh, if anybody's interested, we just get in contact with, uh, I think, uh, I'll give uh, a toll-free number for you to call if you wish. So let us receive the blessing of the Lord now in your neighbors. Tanta Mergo is in the back of your uh
delectamentum in se aventem. All rebus, Deus finobis sub sacramento mirabili passionis sui memoria reni quisti, tribue quesumus, itenas corporis, Ad sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tuae fructum in nobis, iugi ter sensiamus. Vi vivis sed regnas in saecula saeculorum. divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be us in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.